Sure. So I, I think this is a really nice organization that, that Jonathan and Nadav put together here, actually, with these, these different levels of analysis. And so I think what you'll see here on the, on the slides that we put together is, as Jonathan mentioned, that it's quite general, it's quite open. I think we're, we're going to try and shuttle you through maybe in just a few minutes uh, through these few levels and then have most of the time actually for, for discussion. We can try and uh, flesh out the details here. So the first one here is about um, CIS regulation. Uh, this has been a topic that's come up time and again, I guess, the last two days, linking variance and regulatory elements to the target gene. So the big goal, the big, big idea of what we want to want to achieve is a complete atlas, it's kind of a daring thing, complete atlas of regulatory elements and variants across some number of cell types, some number of conditions. These are the kind of details that can be filled in. Um, and of course, this has to go hand in hand with also developing computational models for interpretation. I think so far the kinds of perturbation assays you see that have been done by many of the folks in this room have been uh, smaller scale and really not given the full computational breadth maybe that, that, that they should be. Um, and of course, you know, the, the, I, I think that the nice goal to work toward is perturbation of every single nucleotide in the genome coding and non-coding um, and to, to look at its, express, its uh, effects on phenotypes like gene expression but also other relevant phenotypes um, for the model, for the disease, for the trait. Um, uh, of course, the idea is, is, is not just to perturb every single nucleotide, but maybe we can also think about more focused assays looking at sets of variants, trying to identify causal variants out of um, a, a confidence set from, say, GWAS, and then trying to say, of once we identify a variant that seems to have some effect, What's, what gene is it working, working through? And there's many examples now, elegant examples from folks where it isn't working through the nearest gene. Um, and what kinds, I think something to discuss is what are the, quote, rapid phenotyping screens and platforms? Um, kind of in, in some areas like cancer biology, I think it's been very direct and easy. It's growth, it's drug resistance. Um, but then there's been uh, talk today from, from Tom, from others, of uh, ALS, neurodegenerative disease. I think it's uh, not easy there. It's a little bit from experience. Um, okay, so then the next one is, this is the last one I think that I'm gonna speak about, which is what, what does every gene do? We have these things like genome-wide CRISPR screens. Uh, we have uh, had for many years genome-wide overexpression libraries, ORF libraries, RNAi knockdown libraries. So there's many different um, ways that we can manipulate every gene in the genome. So, so what, is, what is the big goal? The big goal is a complete atlas of genes matched with functions, which, what does that mean? How, are there an infinite number of functions? Which are the ones that to focus on first? Um, and I, I mentioned this before, that there's endophenotypes, like biochemical phenotypes, like RNA expression, attack seek, um, histone modifications. These ones, I think, are, are probably the, the maybe one or two year goals where we can pair gene manipulations with, with these kinds of uh, genomic readouts. But we should also think what other traits, what other disease-relevant phenotypes, beyond cancer perhaps even, uh, can, can, should, we, uh, should we focus on, can we work on? Um, combination of coding and non-coding. Again, this, the same thing here, developing rapid phenotypic screens. And I, I don't know if, Jonathan, you mentioned in the beginning that all of these suggestions that we put on these slides are from the ones submitted, right? This is. I'm, I'm the reader. These are not my ideas. This, is, this came from the submitted set from the entire group. That's, so some of this looks very uh, duplicative, but it's because it's, it's what people said without knowing what everybody else is saying. So just like we were talking about causal variants, cis-regulatory variants, the data, data generation, the analysis uh, has to, the, the challenge is how do, you, how do you put together that complete atlas of gene functions? That complete is hard, but um, some atlas of gene functions that's easy for a large group to access. It is not the siloed CRISPR screens that I and other people have been responsible for right now. So, okay, hand it off. <laughs>